वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड सिंप्लीफाइड दिस कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लुकिंग रूट ओके सो योर वील स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक विच इज वॉट रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी वन वी नो इट इज इलेवन माइनस रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी वील ट्राई टू फाइंड फैक्टर्स ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी सो वील गेट वॉट टू सिक्सटी देन टू देन थर्टी देन अगैन टू देन फिफ्टीन सो देन यू आर लेफ्ट विद वॉट थ्री एंड फाइव एंड फाइव सो बेसिकली आई कैन राइट दिस एज वॉट टू इंटू टू विच कैन रिटर्न एज वॉट फोर इन टू Uh, two into three into five gets you what thirty. So this can be written as what minus root of four into thirty. Okay. So now this can now be written as what eleven minus. We can take it to two outside because four root of four is two into thirty. Now your entire job changes to what making it equal to root of a minus root of b. Now I'm sure you all must be wondering how can I do that? Yes, you can do that when you have especially. when you have your entire question written in this particular format okay and since there was a minus sign here you did a minus sign if there was a plus sign we would have done a plus sign over here okay so i hope this is very very clear now next step would be what taking squares basically i'm taking squares on both the side okay so squaring squaring okay so your entire answer now changes to let me just erase this so yeah your entire answer now changes to what 11 minus 2 root 30 this is equals to what a plus b minus 2 root ab okay so i can say that 11 is equals to what a plus b and we can say minus 2 root 30 is equals to minus 2 root ab okay minus so we can cancel these two So I'm taking squares on both the sides. I'll get thirty is equal to what a b. Now I need to find two numbers whose product will get you the answer as what thirty, and whose sum will get you the answer as what eleven. So I can say that six into five gets you what thirty. So I can say a is equal to six and b is equal to five. Okay. I'm sure now you might be wondering why didn't I take a as five and b as six? But here, if you see, there's a minus sign involved. so here in this case your final answer now changes to what just root of 6 minus root of 5 so i hope i've made myself very very clear and for any kind of these kind of questions you should use this particular i'll just highlight it this particular equation and trust me that entire answer becomes very very easy to solve so that's it for today i'll see you in the next video